looking at my shopping list again from the dates of October 31st to November 4th. I have 58 items in my shopping list. I have not yet gone through and changed or weeded out any items. I'm just looking at my full list here that was pulled over from my planner. And you can see an earlier screencast about that easy process. But next I want to talk about pulling over some staple items. And this is a really neat function of this site. You click on staple items. Once you come over to the staple items area, this is where you would have a list of anything that would maybe not show up in your ingredients list for different menus, but are items that you need on a regular basis for your home. So things like dog food, things like pickles. Again, these are not necessarily going to show up in my menus. Maybe I need some more bread or some more toilet paper or some more dental floss. You can select as many things as you need and then you can pull those items over into your shopping list and the way you do that is by of course selecting them and then you'll click add items to main list. Notice five items have been added. Now I'm going to go back to my shopping list and see what we have now. Now you'll see that dog food has appeared over here and sliced bread came over from the staples list and they're all combined here. So now this prevents you from buying just, this was one of the mistakes I made when I first started Plan to Eat. I would go to the store and I would buy all these ingredients just for the recipes and then I thought, oh man, I forgot about the things that we need on a day to day basis. So you can easily add them in and again that's by using the staple items function here. So that's how you can bring staple items into your shopping list and then you would just print your list once you have it all selected and cleaned up, you would print your list and you'll see that my list turns into a few pages. So now that we have your regular menu items as well as staple items that you're going to need for the week, it's time to print the list and head to the grocery store. So again, good luck using this site and I hope that this little lesson about bringing staple items into the grocery list will be helpful for you.